So here I am hitting on the Topspin Pro in my driveway outside my house, and I want you to notice something very interesting about my ground strokes. Here I'm demonstrating a forehand on the Topspin Pro. And I want you to notice how the finish is the highest part of the swing. Look at this swing right here. When I take my racket back, here's the highest part of the backswing. So my racket is right there. So that's where my racket is positioned on my take back. Now I go low, right? And then I want you to look at my follow through. My follow through is higher than my backswing. So we think of it as high, low, high, right? We think high, low, high. But I want you to think of high, low, higher. I want your finish to be higher than any other part of the swing. I watch most recreational players, their take back is the highest thing. And then they go down and then across and wrap it around their left hip and they hit the frame and they, they hit the net all the time. They hit short, they get side spin. I want you to think of the finish being the highest part of your ground strokes. You'll notice on my forehand how I'm catching the racket high with my left hand. In fact, my racket is kind of trailing. Here's my left hand. My racket is trailing my left hand as a right-hander. My left hand gets up before my racket. That's what I want you to think of because then it actually entices the racket to go up. But I don't want you to think of high, low, and across and down. I want you to think high, low, higher. Here I'm hitting my two-hander. There's my take back, so we can put a line right at the top of my racket. And then when I'm done, notice my racket is higher in my finish. So it's high, low, higher. Doing this embraces the fact that the tennis swing, or tennis in general, is a lifting sport. Here's a one-hander. This is going to be super high. Look where the racket is, kind of where my neighbor's basketball hoop is, right there, right? That's my take back, and then watch my finish. Look how much higher my racket's way up his chimney. That's the way you want to think of ground strokes. It's high, low, higher. You'll hit better topspin. You'll hit the net less. You'll hit the sweet spot more. You'll hit deeper, and you'll definitely play better tennis. Now, the best way to practice these techniques is at home with a Topspin Pro. You can get a Topspin Pro using my link in the description. I'm also going to pin it in the first comment. I absolutely love the Topspin Pro, and I know you will too. And if you're looking for people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, maybe you want to find a league at your level, or you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Player Court, and it's playercourt.com slash two-minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. So go out with your Top Spin Pro and just film yourself and see if your finish is the highest part of the swing. It should be, and if you practice this, there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. Ooh, that was a good one. Look at this. Look at this. Right off the back of the ball. Look at me catching super high. Awesome. You got this.